the video. Welcome on the wild side of the night here in Blackpool. It's a Saturday today and I am just up here by Middle Walk, yeah, just at the start of Middle Walk at the, the southern end. Depending on which way you look at it, a little bit notorious this at night as the tram goes past on the promenade there, yes. Yeah. So oh, you want to see the views? I'll show you the views here. Uh, in just a minute but uh, this video is just uh, nothing too special this video I'll take you around the town in a minute we'll have a look what's going on we've got quite a few things going on in Blackpool today we've got the, the darts competition going on at the Winter Gardens so we've got that going on so there's quite a few people in town today it's not a bad day it's kind of like a bit dull it's kind of weird really we've got high pressure at the moment in charge but it's really really cloudy but the views from here are cracking but anyway it looks like I'm going to be hitting 60,000, oh, 60,000, I almost said 60,000 views then. I mean 60,000 subscribers, so thanks very much to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. I've been going just over four years. And uh, what I thought I'd do is when I get to 60,000, to mark the occasion, I'd have a competition. Uh, so I'm probably going to have like three prizes and they're going to be good prizes. And I mean, I want them to be really, really good prizes and it won't cost anything. To, uh, to enter so all you have to do is be a subscriber I'm going to sort it out hopefully next week I'll let you know about it I'll have to think about how to do it but that's what I'm going to do I'm going to have a competition to mark get into 60,000 subscribers so if you're not subscribed don't forget to hit subscribe hit subscribe right now and uh, what I'll do in this video is we'll just take a look around Blackpool I'll show you the views over here they look absolutely amazing as another tram goes past you might be able to, to hear that uh, and yeah we'll see what's going on shall we Oh, we're getting a close look at the boat now. Uh, it's probably a service vessel for the the wind farm, or maybe the oil, the gas platforms. I'm not too sure. Uh, I've got it. I've just checked on Vessel Finder, and it says it's the um, Geo Discovery or something. It's pretty moody out there actually, I quite like it when it's like this, you know, when it's not like perfectly clear or dead sunny or anything like that, but when you've got these clouds, these grey clouds are actually quite atmospheric, yeah? Mind, um, at least it's not blowing a gale, that makes a change, doesn't it? You know, we've not really had any storms in Blackpool really this season, you know, we've, we've had a couple of minor thunderstorms and that's it, but nothing like what we've had in the last few years, we've had some pretty major lightning storms. I wouldn't mind another lightning storm actually because I like to chase them but um, yeah uh, what I'll do is we'll take a look around the town shall we and I'll try and take you around the town in a roundabout way and we'll have a look and see what's going on so I'm just opposite Cocker Square named after Dr Cocker one of those guys is carrying a massive bottle of Frosty Jack cider that's seven and a half percent definitely a beer monster to drink that let's go and have a look up here shall we Cocker Square they used to be bassy I've spoken about them in the past long before my time we've got one of these toilet blocks here oh, these are one of the first toilet blocks that you paid to go in it says there 20p but seeing as you don't use them anymore um, what can they do with them? I don't know. What can they do with them? Seems like they're a bit of a waste, really. What do you reckon? I think so. I mean, you could actually turn that into like a little booth, couldn't you? You know, for selling coffee or burgers or, or something like that. So I'll just make my way through this car park. That's the Liberty's Hotel over there. Caledonian Tower Hotel it says down there so it's not called Liberties is it? Is it called the Caledonian? Is that like an old name for it? Liberties? I don't know. Can you see what the sign says up there? Uh, oh dear. Anyway let's head down this road here. This is called General Street.
I wonder if someone went up there and removed the last two letters. What do you reckon? It does seem a bit uh, of a coincidence, doesn't it, as we walk past Infusion. Interesting place, Infusion. You might want to look it up and see what it's all about. Hello. Hiya. Yeah, I've been recognised quite a few times already. Can't go anywhere without being recognised, can I? Just coming up to Bank Street. Seagulls are pretty noisy. I'll keep going this way. Got some boarded up windows over there. I wonder what was happening there. Quite a few properties in Blackburn with boarded up windows. This one's got paper all over the windows. What are they doing decorating? Sounds like someone's having a domestic. There's a little street here called Walker Street. Look at this, I never noticed that before. I thought it was a back alley. Look at that there, look. But, I'll tell you what, let's go down here, shall we? There's a, have you seen that on the side of that, uh, on the, should I say the back of that building there, the fried egg, what's that all about? Yeah, so this is Walker Street. Yeah, it's like one of those hidden streets, isn't it? And as I look this way. The back of that building there has got some windows out. That's weird, isn't it? And there's like numbers on each of the other windows. Ah, very strange. Especially that there. <laughs> What's that all about? Wow. So we're going to come out onto Springfield Road and just a heads up. Sorry, just ahead of us is the old electric. That's a little theatre, that. Yeah, it's a little theatre. You might want to check it out. The old electric, it was established in 2020. And just behind me is the Baptist Tabernacle. Look at this building here, look. Wowzers. That's some building, isn't it? I've just nipped down here to the prom. I'm just by the Metropole now, and that's where I was, Springfield Road. That's where that little theatre is. And we've got another theatre here. What used to be a theatre. I think it was the Princess Theatre, was it? This one. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit faded now, isn't it? Look at that there. It has been a nightclub, of course. It's been a nightclub in the last few decades. It was. I remember when this was Main Street and the business and then it was Club Sanuk for ages. And uh, currently it's Woody's, world famous Woody's, where Benidorm meets Blackpool. Quite a few places shut up over here, look. But we have got a fairly new place called the Bee's Knees, just over here. That's quite new, that. Only opened uh, earlier this year, I think. That one there, look. On the corner, we've got the Soul Suite. Well, that's really popular. Just opposite Queen Street now. A few people sat outside Soul Suite. It looks fairly quiet, actually, but it'll uh, be quite lively there later, I bet. Tonight, where all the, the clubs are. If you watch my videos you know what I'm talking about. Got the old 1234 cinema there, that building there. Massive building. And that's got pot world in it. I don't know what, what else they use the space for because these buildings are huge. What do they use all the space for? Anyway, 
I'm just down here now by the beer monster shelters and I did see some beer monsters before coming down here probably come down to take in the views let's go and have another look shall we you know I just can't get over that view of the Lake District just look at that that looks amazing I can see Barrow in Furness I can see that big what is it a submarine place it looks absolutely epic you know Blackpool for all its faults and it doesn't have many green spaces doesn't have many trees it's got this and you can't take this away from it you know there's a lot of people that just seem to think that they can park up here on the promenade and you can't you're not allowed to park up here unless you've got a permit uh, this car's probably doing probably doing some work but there's another car over here that's got a ticket on it there you go look at that there there you go let this be a lesson for you don't park up here outside the north pier unless you've got a permit just look at that view doesn't it look absolutely awesome anyway i might need a bit of help for this competition because uh, i'm still thinking about how to do it now i am talking with someone who believes that they've got a good formula to do it and like i say i want to have good prizes for it and it's not going to cost anybody any money it doesn't cost any money to subscribe by the way and once i get the formula right for doing it i might do it more often you know i might do a regular thing we'll see but uh, if you've got any ideas out there let me know i'll tell you what the sun's starting to get out now and it's heating up a bit yeah i'm starting to feel the heat from the sun the heat is actually coming back to blackpool next week well if you call 20 degrees warm i still think that this year has been really really poor it's not been warm i don't think it's been that warm at all really and it still hasn't got going yet i mean we're in july now and normally july is on average the warmest with with august as well because of the delayed effect of the the sun um after the solstice it, there's a delay in the heating um but we still haven't really had the kind of heat that we've had over the last few years and we haven't had those like mega thunderstorms I suppose in a way I should think think of it the other way in that you know who wants a who wants a thunderstorm me i want a thunderstorm yeah <laughs> anyway uh still a bit to go yet well i'll tell you what there's a lot of noise here in front of the north pier yeah, i can hear music coming from all over the place still looking a bit murky over there but the sun is uh, poking through which is good not to having to dodge any trams at the moment has anyone made the mistake of turning left there where the trams are because it is quite easy to do i think let's see if we can get across here shall we it's always busy on Blackpool Promenade. Yeah, it's quite a mis quite an easy mistake to make, I suppose, to to uh, turn onto here. Don't follow the tram tracks. But it's oh, listen to that. The town hall's bonging. Two o'clock. Welcome to Sacred Heart Church here on Talbot Road in Blackpool. I walk past this place so often on the channel, but rarely come in. This is the Octagon. Quite impressive, isn't it? You know, this church, or at least the western part of it, was designed by Wesley Pugin, who was the son of the architect of the House of Commons and Big Ben, or the Elizabeth Tower. So as I come out of the Sacred Heart Church, we hear nothing but music coming from... Can you hear that? That is so, so loud, that music coming from the little black book, and it rebounds off the Premier Inn over there. Yeah, it is double loud. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm going to go down this way. Yeah, it is pretty loud, that music coming from the little black book, and uh, I just wonder 
whether they could get into trouble for that because it is so so loud and it's just rebounding off the pram you're in it just makes it sound even louder than ever what do you think so i'm now on clifton street and my goodness those seagulls are making a right racket i wonder if this is a new place opening up here look it was a thai cafe or was it is that what it's going to be i don't know they've already got one of them on there uh, is it topping street they've got a thai on there. This is that place that used to be. What was it? Can't remember now. Um, it was a it was a, a pub, wasn't it? Can't remember the name of it. If anyone could let me know. Got some nice restaurants up here. Clifton Street, the Mandarin. Look at this place here. Proper swanky that is. Yeah. Got another one here. Um, it's a cocktail, cocktail club. Don't know how you say that. Sound, sound card or something. We're just coming up to Abingdon Street. I've just nipped into a shop here called Icons. It's on the corner of Clifton Street and Abingdon Street. Check it out. They've got loads of collectibles, movies, all that sort of thing. And uh, do you want to say a little bit about what? Yeah, you're... I'll just uh, basically with a, a a gift shop that specialises in rock and geek merchandise. All yeah. licensed, all, all popular. I yeah. try and expand it out as much as we can. Yeah, they've got all sorts of stuff. It's into movies, pops, all sorts of all sorts of stuff like that. They've got. Well, we'll have a little look around, so we'll see what they've got. This is a shop here, Icons. Let's have a little look inside, shall we? See what they've got. Look at this. Is everything that you could ever want in here, isn't there? Star Wars. Look. All collectible stuff, mugs. We've got loads of t-shirts as well, look. Pre these are all used, these ones, or second hand, should I say. Got some Funko Pops going on as well. Does anyone collect Funko Pops? Sports as well. Now here are the Funko Pops over here. Look, look at all these here. Uh, have we got any Funko Pop collectors out there? Look at these. Movie posters over here and Queen poster there. Yeah, they've got pretty much everything in there for the collectors. There you go. Icons. Check them out. Corner of Clifton Street and Abingdon Street. Check it out. I've just got myself a cake from the from the bread basket there on Abingdon Street. Check them out, the bread basket. Uh, I've got a school cake. It looks really, really nice, actually. I might show you in a minute, but uh, I'm just headed down here now towards the Winter Gardens. That's where they've got the darts tournament on. We'll see what's going on around there, shall we? So this is how it looks on Abingdon Street. That's uh, Icons over there, where I just was on the corner. Check it out if you're coming to Blackpool Icons. Over here, we've got the bread basket. Just here we've got Cafe 25. And just down here we've got uh, the co-op. Blackpool Coastal House, I've never noticed that. Housing Association there, look. That little alleyway there is called Cheapside. Oh, look, Cheapside. There is a... Uh, it's not like a little wine bar there, the Nook. Look at that there, look. We've got a lot of stuff hidden away here in Blackpool, haven't we? Check it out, I'm now in St John's Square. I'm sat on one of these uh, picnic tables and I've decided to eat this cake now. I normally don't eat during the day, eat cakes like this during the day, but I was going to save it till later, but I thought, no, no, I'll eat it now. It's a school cake. Check it out, that looks nice, doesn't it? From the bread basket. Check them out if you come into Blackpool. Mm. Oh. The seagulls are ganging up. Ooh.
Yeah, it's actually quite lively here. In the middle of Blackpool, just outside the Winter Gardens. Quite a few people milling around out here. As you can see, we've got the tower over there. Check it out, Blackpool Tower. OK, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. That was a little look at Blackpool on a Saturday. It's sort of mid-July now, aren't we? Yeah, not too bad, actually, the weather, really. But, yeah, it was just mainly to tell you that uh, as I get to 60,000 followers, I want to have a bit of a competition to market. I'm not quite sure how to do it, but I will definitely do it, and the prizes are going to be really good. And don't forget, it's not going to cost anything to... Uh, to enter all you need to do is just make sure you're subscribed anyway i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one